you know, one of the things that Destiny helps us with at eCornell and Cornell University is, um, you know, sort of the rapid uh, setup of programs. And that's been particularly important over the last six months. Um, and, and the separation of concerns. So having the ability to rapidly stand up a program that, that is operational, but also feeds our marketing department what it needs so we can stand up enrollment pages that loop into our digital marketing by having a single process, meets all the needs of the business units and presents something to prospective students that's meaningful. We've had the same experience you know, having the Destiny product has allowed us to pivot really quickly to this situation, change the look and feel of our website very quickly, and also mount a lot of new innovative program offerings quickly that we wouldn't have been able to do uh, before we had Destiny. The route that we took was, here is Destiny, here's our um, HubSpot, our marketing automation system kind of sitting next to each other, not talking to each other and, and creating that integration just changed the overall process for our entire team. It became just a smooth process for, for taking students from the point of sort of making a connection into our uh, registration system and vice versa. We service um, students from ages three all the way to like 95 and what we wanted to do was to have this very simple add to cart and checkout process and that's what Destiny have given us. Bogging down with um, extra steps is what Destiny have helped us to kind of go away from that and just this one stop shop and you find the course you like add it to the cart and go. It, it streamlined our processes a lot more than what we used to have. Our students tend to be digital natives. Their expectation is that they're quickly going to find a product, they're gonna click the button to buy that product and they're gonna, their browser remembers their credit card number and they're gonna click enroll. We know that the more steps that you insert in there, students, prospective students are gonna drop off at each step. We've taken the Destiny um, shopping cart and we've built our own customizations on top of it. We really need that one stop, very simple. And, and using the Destiny API and the customizations um, that we were able to put on top of Destiny, we're very, we're able to create a highly tailored and customized experience that's really efficient for those students. And then we worked with Destiny further to do an abandoned shopping cart follow-up. So students who do drop out, get a notification and, and our enrollment counselors may be able to reach them and, and try to uh, reverse that attrition on that purchase. We had our goal, we wanted to have a seamless checkout and now students get provisioned into the course immediately upon checkout and we've seen a tremendous growth in our enrollment so since we implemented Destiny last summer. The speed that we can now implement changes in our website is, is definitely one thing. Luckily, we, we implemented Destiny, and at this point of time, because we had to pivot very quickly and students are all online, that is going to help us today, tomorrow, and into the near term. And what we're finding is that students are actually going deeper into our website now than they were before. Page visits uh, before Destiny, at least in the year before Destiny, was around uh, four pages per session, and now it's tending towards six. You know, during this COVID period, there are lots of workshops and uh, conferences that were run at Cornell University. So we were able to at eCornell and using the Destiny platform to say, hey, we can, we can quickly stand up a program that your students can follow this simple enrollment process and get into this program, which will be delivered online. When we pivoted in March, uh, it would have been a nightmare without Destiny to be able to take those classes as quickly as we did online. What ended up happening is my team focused on getting the content into the learning management system and not stress over how will this get to the learner? But we were able to turn it on in Destiny, that one button that allows us the uh, connection into Canvas, enrollment went in, and whether students were dropping or being added, it was all happening without us getting involved in any shape or form with that process. I think that we would have been probably a month late had we not had that. One of the 
best things I think that Destiny has enabled able us to do is scale our reach within a certain uh, demographic. Uh, so uh, Cornell University received a grant from Bank of America for several million dollars to develop a, um, a certificate for women's entrepreneurship. We had overnight 20,000 women sign up for this program. Um, and we were able to enroll them through the portal in using Destiny and into the LMS in a, in a seamless fashion. And Destiny was fantastic in, we would uh, pick up the phone, reach out to the tech folks and say, hey, we're gonna have a bunch of people enrolling tomorrow. They would beef up the system and give us what we needed to support those enrollments. That's, that's one of the great things about uh, the partnership that we've developed with Destiny beyond just you know being a customer of Destiny, we have a relationship with them personally. We're currently developing uh, fairly big expansion plans, both uh, nationally across Canada and then internationally. And these are things that we couldn't have even thought of uh, before adopting the Destiny product. So, you know, this is enabling us to really think big. Enrollment uh, is a lot more automated than it was before. And, uh, you know, that's probably the big thing with the Destiny product a lot of those things can be automated and so that that gives us the opportunity to be a lot more scalable we started to look into the corporate module uh, within destiny and uh, how group enrollment takes place we have a dire need for something like that we have um, districts that we service and they tend to call and say, hey, I have these 12 teachers that they need training on these things. Could we go ahead and um, enroll them into your section? Well, prior to Destiny, that was just a manual process. We've been using the group contract corporate corporate component for quite a, uh, a long period of time, and it's been hugely beneficial, and, and particularly now, um, to give our team the ability to create custom bundles um, that are blended. So some of it is courses that are in our LMS and some of our courses that will be delivered synchronously or asynchronously on site or virtually. And then to associate that with a group contract, I actually can't imagine what our finance team would do without that because that brings all that into a single source for running all of the revenue that we're collecting. eCornell up until January was a separate external for-profit entity from Cornell University. We've recently come into the university and now are, are learning the ropes about all of the constraints that are in the higher ed. The partner who is running this program said to us, well, a lot of, a lot of the learners, they pay by check and some of them pay by credit card. And this was sort of new to us because we were really digitally native in, in the way we ran our business. And so, you know, we went to our finance team and we said, you know, we have this strange request. They want to pay by check and we want to enroll them anyways and then produce an invoice. And, and our finance manager was like, yeah, we could, Destiny can do that. The importance of where your focus needs to be, I think that's what we're really drilling down on. It's like, I want my team to stay focused on what product we're putting out there. I want my team to really focus on meeting the customer's need less on the process of them getting through uh, registration and whatnot and just having something already in place and utilizing it um, have helped uh, with that process tremendously. We implemented Destiny fully by uh, summer of 2019 and since that time you know, we've seen our core CE enrollment has, has really turned around. We actually experienced a total enrollment growth of about 3,000 enrollments or 10%. So that was uh, very significant. And now, as of today, for, uh, for fall term, overall, we're up by over 1,000 enrollments or 6%. And uh, but within that, our CE enrollment is really driving that. That is up by over a thousand or seventeen percent. So that's translating into very good revenue growth. And we have a good relationship with our destiny partners. So we can just pick up the phone or email, like if there's any issues. So I think, you know, this is something that's really helping us. We have particularly since 2017 had a uh, substantial year over year growth, which accelerated this spring when things shut down 
a lot of folks looked for opportunities to do professional development and uh, that was great timing. And what we've been fortunate enough to be able to do is develop programs that um, met demand that was emerging in the marketplace. So working with Destiny and other systems and having things integrated and working in a way that's efficient, uh, as Cyrus said, allows us to focus on the things that matter and that helps drive growth. We're, we're actually already starting to looking into Destiny into its full capacity. I don't know what that new normal now <laughs> will look like. It's changing. And regardless, I just think that the capacity of the system is there that will just continue to put a brick one at a time on top of another and, and serve our, our customers. Having moved into the university and bringing on a lot of those formerly uh, in-person executive education programs, you know, we've got an opportunity to bring them into Destiny right now because we have an emerging need to do so, but with the expectation that we're going to continue to use our digital platforms to run these programs. You know, I think the Destiny One product positions us very well in a very competitive market. Destiny One's role here is really to position us to meet our competition, try to be number one in the, in the field and to grow nationally and internationally, which are things that I, I don't think we could have envisioned before. And I think in the future, there probably won't be totally in-person classes anymore. There will be blended learning and then totally online. And I think, you know, we're well positioned for that. We are seeing more entrance into this uh, increasingly competitive landscape and having the ability to move quickly and focus on what matters to <laughs> fend off some of that competition um, is, is very important for our, our organizations. And, you know, as we've said multiple times, Destiny allowing us to focus on what we need to focus on helps us be more agile as it relates to um, our academic partners and helping them be more agile and responding to the market forces that we're all, like it or not, are, are part of here. One of the things that we've done well with the platform that differentiates us to some extent is the fully integrated marketing solution and having digital ads that lead to landing pages that lead to a highly uh, efficient shopping cart experience. And that also aligns with the brand. Everything that we do has to be aligned with and meet the brand standards and having the flexibility to do that um, in a highly efficient way in this increasingly competitive landscape allows us to differentiate ourselves. Just the kind of um, marketing process and kind of taking a prospective student all the way through the marketing funnel into an actual enrollment and beyond. I think that is what's been just seamless for us. You know, I think the Destiny product will give us an advantage over you know, like the boot camps and these uh, small operators that we've seen open up over the last five or ten years they don't have the infrastructure that a large university has the fact that it produces a very good customer experience you know is very important when a product comes in there is a gray line that you know that it could do but that's not what it is for. So our, our internal team was like, we wanna be able to, to market to people. Well, if that's not what the product is gonna do. We are gonna have to find a product that does marketing to the courses and let Destiny One do what it does best, which is registration and managing that registration and keeping record of that registration. The integration then helps to clear that gray line to where now you're passing information back and forth without the learner having to go, well, wait, I provided that there, why is it not? So we're able to build this stack that, uh, you know, encompasses all of the business functions that uh, external ed needs to provide. But at the center of that, thinking from the student-centered design sits Destiny, where the student has all the aggregated information about herself um, available in that single uh, central source of record. The APIs are there for Destiny and it's easy to use. 
and we are looking into other integration now. It's sort of the connecting registration system to the LMS, to the uh, marketing automation system and to other systems so that it's one hub. I, I think that's what our goal is and uh, these integrations are making it easier to pass the learner through different portals and not have to uh, worry about it. I cannot say enough good things about Destiny support. And it doesn't matter who we come across with from uh, Destiny personnel, everyone has been so helpful. And the response time on Destiny support have been tremendous. I'm very thankful uh, that we get to work with uh, such a responsive and intelligent team. You know, we did a real-time integration between the Ryerson PeopleSoft uh, registration system and Destiny. So, you know, it's a lot more difficult and complex than, say, a batch integration. But uh, I definitely echo what's been said, like the Destiny technical team, they're very, very intelligent. They're very good to work with. They, are, they were able to keep their cool through a lot of very difficult things to do the integration.